to everyone that like, share, subscribe if you guys have. Hit the like button, purchase the reading, hit the notification bell, donate it to my page. Thank you. So grateful. This energy could be masculine or feminine. Could be about you, the person you're thinking of, or your cross washer. All right, take what resonates, leave what does not. Here, okay. This is for Gemini. I have the strength card. Someone may be dealing with someone um, that has Leo in their chart, or Leo may be coming towards you. Someone is working. Oh, I have the Father Swords. When it comes to this um, strength card, okay, this is inner strength. You having to have courage. You having to have patience and trust uh, divine timing. This is you taming your temper, taming your emotions. This is you being confident, being strong, um, overcoming your fears, your doubts, your anxieties. Like I said, a relationship with a Leo may be coming toward you or someone with Leo in their chart, you're going to meet someone that's very strong, right? Or you're going to work to try and fix a relationship that you may have been in previously for some of you, not going to resonate for all. Um, some of you are connecting to your higher self too. You see the infinity sign. Okay. I have five of swords here. Five of swords is um, Aquarius energy. This is deceit. Somebody around you was being deceitful, um, and you know it. You may have a bully of some nature around you as well. You may feel defeated around this person, but someone um, may have retaliated and walked away, or someone will be doing this. What else? Gemini. Thank you. Have the nine of swords someone is like in their feelings about this shit feeling feeling anxiety and grief and and despair okay with this nine of swords someone's not happy they're they're like uh having nightmares and may not be able to sleep well shit may be happening in 5d people may be talking to them in the 5d you know so making people wake up somebody needs to speak a truth here with this ace of swords card uh libra aquarius gemini energy Someone could be also having a sudden breakthrough, um, an epiphany type shit with this Ace of Swords, okay? Um, it could be some sort of truth may be revealed to someone too. Um, yeah, something something that you, you've been, that's been keeping you up all night is, is not going to be a mystery for much longer. And it's going to cause a cycle to close with this... Um, the world with the world card okay it's going to be a completion when you get this epiphany or what have you then you're going to understand why the cycle needed to close okay you guys are going to have a good relationship with someone a marriage you know for those that want more kids you will it's going to be something good right you're going to make a relationship work divine timing Money's going to be coming to you as well. You're going to have uh, went through everything that you needed to go through and the lesson that you needed to learn, okay? You guys may have been juggling a lot of shit with the two of swords. You guys may have been doing a lot of balance or trying to balance your life out with the Libra energy. Um, some of you, for some time, may not have been... Um, may not have been seeing some shit, okay? When I say juggling, okay, it's not like I'm talking about the two of pentacles. What I'm talking about is you guys were juggling your thoughts with this two of swords, right? If you're having communication with someone, you weren't seeing it as it was. You were taking it as something else and, and, and changing that. To what it was that felt good for you. Okay? Because you're like, that person didn't mean it like that. That's what I'm seeing. And that's what I'm feeling. And that's why I'm calling it a little bit of juggling. Because you were juggling reality here. With this two of swords. Okay? This could have caused a misunderstanding. Because you were thinking one way. And someone was thinking another way. 
-hmm. Some of them here was 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 preventing themselves, okay, from seeing what they needed to see. This caused you to not want to make no decision about something because, hell, you were thinking another way. That's why the decision wasn't made because you wasn't thinking that you needed to even fucking make a decision. Right? The Spirit is saying now that you know you need to walk off and you need to take a chance. You need to do something new with this Fool card. Take a chance on yourself. You also have the Seven of Wands. Okay? This is this is you. All right? This is you standing up to challenge you, standing up for yourself, taking the high road, knowing that this has been a challenge for you, knowing all that you have been through, right? You also have the six of swords, seven of wands, uh, uh, seven of wands is uh, Leo energy. You also have the six of swords, right? You happen to make some changes. This is Gemini energy, right? Now, okay, what happened was you may have been surrounded by shit that was your was of your own accord meaning you didn't cause it but you were in something or you had issues that you made yourself because you weren't paying attention to the signs of the things that were going on around you or you were telling yourself that that's not really what was happening like i was saying right six of, six of swords for me okay is aquarius energy Right. So right now you're going through mental healing. You're going through progression. You're trying to move on. Right. You're feeling like you're getting guidance from within. You're no longer here in the two of swords where you're not paying attention to the shit that's going on around you. I have another. Yep. I have another flipper here. OK. This person broke your heart with this three of swords card. This person really broke your heart, whoever they were. Right. This is Libra energy, separation, right? Like I said, you guys weren't even communicating properly. You weren't understanding what the communication was. You, you, you were understanding something totally. The love that you had for this person was causing you to not even see the truth of the matter because you were so, you, you just kept nixing it away because that couldn't have been it. This person would not have treated you like that. Or whatever they said, they didn't mean it this way. You were just in denial. The fool and the seven of wands, please. Do it this way. Okay. Yeah, five of cups. So you were supposed to walk off and take a chance and instead Right. You you're now going through this period where where you're having a lot of challenges. Right. And feeling like you you have a lot of pressure, like you need to stand up for yourself because now you're in that five of cups energy, grief, loss, despair, depression. Right. But spirit is telling you that not all is lost and it's going to be some shit that comes to you after this. Just hold on. But you have the six of swords and the three of swords. OK, going to clarify. Right? You got the nine of wands. I'll say so clarifying the six of swords and the three of swords is the nine of wands. Right? You may have Sagittarius energy, okay, or someone with Sagittarius around you or Sagittarius in your chart. This is you being halfway through the bullshit that you're going through, right? You may feel like it defeats you at times, that your energy is low. The spirit is saying to keep persevering, that you're still in a situation, but you're going to find the strength to get out of it you're gonna find the strength to get past it and over it all right so i'm leaving it here i'm sending you guys love and light you guys take care